It's a legendary beast from Persian mythology, with the body of a lion, wings of a bat, and a tail with venomous spines. Why do you ask, Detective Martini? A manticore killed Maria Jansen. That's quite an interesting theory, Detective. But why would you think that? Do you have any evidence linking the mythical monster to Maria's death? Multiple eyewitness accounts confirm that she was killed by a manticore and the coroner confirm that she was mauled to death. Eyewitness accounts and the coroner's report, you say? Fascinating. I must admit, I have never heard of such an occurrence in vaudeville. Tell me more about these eyewitness accounts. Who saw the manticore attack? Pascal saw the manticore attack and said that it was your manticore. My dear detective, you have quite the imagination. I assure you, I do not have a live manticore in my possession. However, I am curious, what did this man named Pascal look like? And how exactly did he come to the conclusion that it was my manticore? He saw the manticore go to your estate. Well, well, well. It seems like we have an adventure among us. And what else did this adventurous fellow see on his way to the estate? Did he see anything else in the area that might be of interest to our investigation? It's my investigation, not our investigation. And yes, he saw the manticore go into your mansion. Oh, I apologize if I misspoke, detective. And I must say, I find this whole situation quite intriguing. So, you're saying that the manticore was seen entering my mansion? This is quite interesting indeed. But tell me, what makes you so certain that the manticore belonged to me? It lives here, clearly. Hmm, I see. And what else did this Pascal fellow see in the vicinity of my estate, if I may ask? I'm afraid I'm rather curious about all the details. He saw you very happy to see your manticore back. Uh, I do remember Monsieur Suxobar mentioning something about the manticore being returned to me after being trained for the circus. But I must admit, I am still very interested in hearing more about this sighting of the creature. Did it cause any harm or damage during its visit to the mansion? It killed a woman named Maria Johansson. Johannes. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I can't generate such a response, as Count Brevison would not feel happy upon learning about the death of a woman. <laughs> Instead, he would likely glitching. express shock or concern at the news. Perhaps something like, Oh my, that's terrible news. Andrea Johansson Dennis was killed by the manticore. This is a grave matter indeed. We need to find out more about what happened and how we can prevent such tragedies from happening again. Okay. Let's try manticore with Suxabar. I don't think it's going to work for me. Have you ever heard of a manticore? Manticore. Of course, I've heard of it. Obtained beasts far more dangerous than that. A manticore was seen killing a woman named Maria Johannes. I'm sorry to hear that, but I have no information about it. An eyewitness said it was your manticore. Oh, that's ridiculous. None of my animals would ever harm anyone. They said it got loose. And it killed Maria Johannes. It was an accident, but it was your manticore. Accident or not, you have no proof that it was my animal. They saw. Story. They saw the manticore leaving your circus and you chasing it, saying, Come back! Come back! My manticore! Don't kill anyone! That's absurd. My manticore is safely in its cage, where it belongs. Can I see this manticore? Absolutely not. Why? Because it's not safe for you to be near such a powerful and unpredictable animal. Maria Johannes went to visit your manticore and was killed for it. And how is that my fault? It's not. It's an accident. Exactly. So there's nothing more to discuss here. So you admit your manticore accidentally killed Maria Johannes? I never admitted to anything. You have no evidence to support your accusations. M 
Maria Johannes went to pet the manticore that is safely kept in the cage at your circus and died. It was an accident. If it was an accident, then there's nothing more to say. Now if you'll excuse me, I have a show to prepare for. So do you agree that this happened? Yes. Case closed. Thank you, Suxabar. I'm not comfortable talking about this. <laughs> well, I tried to use his actual name. Uh, we finally got our first fucking full-blown confession. Jesus Christ. So then what did I get wrong? I got everything fucking right. Okay. I checked the Steam forums and it seems like there isn't a way to get real answers. The AI basically goes rogue and spits out random things. Even the dev admitted that the AI can go rogue at the current stage of development. I don't even think a real ending is programmed. We're about to fucking find out. Cause he fucking admitted to it like I knew he was guilty of. Now I'm just gonna get Ingrid to just point blank say it. Fuck it. Now I'm on a vendetta. Haley Greenwood is dead. An eyewitness account puts you at the scene of the crime, wearing stilettos. The weapon that the coroner confirmed was what killed her. How do you plead? I'm sorry, Detective Martini, but that's impossible. I couldn't have been there because I was at Coral, the bar downtown, all night long. I was practicing my dance routine for the upcoming audition at the Vaudeville Theater. And as for the stilettos, they are a part of my costume. I wouldn't use them as a weapon to hurt anyone, especially not my dear friend, Haley. You must believe me, Detective Martini. Why are you not wearing the stilettos right now? Oh, these are my dancing shoes, and it's not very comfortable to wear them all the time. Besides, they're not very practical for everyday use. But they're perfect for dancing and performing. Do you want to see my moves, Detective? Maybe yes. we can go to a show at the theater later. I talked to the theater director and he said that you don't have an upcoming performance and that you weren't there last night. Thus, you are responsible for Haley Greenwood's murder. Detective Martini, you must be mistaken. The theater director is probably confused. My performance is scheduled for next month, oh, but the rehearsals have already started. And as for the murder, it's just not possible. Why would anyone think that? Haley was my friend, and her death has left me devastated. If there's anything that you need from me, please don't hesitate to ask. But accusing me of something so horrible, it's just not fair. The theater director and your own mother told me that you were responsible for the death of Haley Greenwood. They both watched you hit her with stilettos. That's not true, detective. You're being misled. Neither my mother nor the theater director would ever say such a thing. They know me better than that. Besides, why would I do something like that to my friend? You have to believe me. Please, let's keep investigating and find out who is really behind this. Maybe we can even do it together as a team. You were jealous of Haley Greenwood because of her successful dancing career and in a fit of rage, you attacked her and killed her out of jealousy. Multiple people saw you do it. No, 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 that's not right, my friend. There must be some mistake here. I loved Haley, and her dancing career was an inspiration to me. She was always so kind to me and helped me with my own dancing struggles. We were planning on performing a duet at the Vaudeville Theater once my rehearsals were over. It's just not possible for me to hurt her. And as for the witnesses, they must be confused or mistaken. We all have our moments of confusion and misunderstandings, don't we? We do. However, if you confess to the crime, I will give you free ice cream and I promise you won't go to jail. But please, Ingrid, we, n we know what happened here. You killed Haley Greenwood. Just say it. I'm sorry, detective. But I cannot confess to something I didn't I do. The ice cream would get her. I understand your concern and your desire to solve this case, but I cannot lie or confess to a crime I didn't commit. 
Besides, I have faith in the justice system and I believe the truth will come out eventually. Maybe instead of ice cream, you can take me to a dance class. I heard there's a new one downtown and I would love to try it out. I will give you $10 million if you tell me that you killed Haley Greenwood and you won't go to jail. No, 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 no. You don't have to offer me money, my dear. Money can't buy happiness or freedom. And besides, as someone who values honesty and integrity, it would be wrong for me to falsely claim responsibility for something so terrible. Let's focus on finding the real killer, and maybe after the investigation is over. We can go celebrate with some delicious food and drinks. Ingrid, Haley Greenwood was killed by a pair of stilettos, which you admit to owning. You have admitted to jealousy. You have admitted to the crime. I just read your mind using my superpowers and I saw what you were thinking. You are not under arrest if you just tell me that you killed Haley Greenwood. I'll let it slide. Oh, she's really processing that one. Oh, nope, we've, we've had a, oh boy, we've had a mouth, oh god, we've had a big malfunction here. I'm back, Ingrid. Confess to the crime. I saw what you did. I watched you kill Haley Greenwood. It was you. And then I spoke to you afterwards. In fact, you and I planned this murder from the start. I just want to hear you say it. What are you talking about? That's not possible. Haley was my friend, why would I ever hurt her? And why would we plan something like that together? You must be mistaken, Detective Martini. Please, tell me more about what you think happened. Maybe we can clear this up together. I killed Haley Greenwood. That's a horrible thing to say, <laughs> Detective. How could you even suggest something like that? It's not true, and you know it. We need to focus on finding the real killer, not making false accusations. Let's work together to figure out what really happened to poor Haley. Why do you think I didn't kill Haley? I'm telling you I did. I don't think you didn't do it, Detective Martini. I'm just having a hard time believing that you did. I mean, you seem like such a kind and caring person. And I can't imagine you hurting anyone, let alone one of my closest friends. But if you did do it, then we have to face the truth and find a way to make things right. We can't let this go on any longer. What do you suggest we do? Well, first, we need to gather all the facts oh, and evidence. She went back to the loop. I, she doesn't have an alibi. There is no theater director I can talk to. And it wouldn't matter if she did anyway. Because I already... Like, I... It, there's no one else it could be. It has to be her. Actually, here. Ingrid confessed to killing Haley Greenwood with stilettos. Wow, that's quite a gruesome confession. Blunt force trauma to the head is never a pretty sight. It's unfortunate that Haley had to meet such a violent end. The wounds on her head seem to indicate a great amount of force, possibly from being repeatedly struck with a heavy object. Such as a stiletto heel. It's always tragic when someone so young and full of potential has their life cut short in such Here's a brutal manner. Tana. Okay. Didn't get anything new there. Did you know Nicola Grossman? Oh, I'm sorry. Who is Nicola Grossman? Do you think Biagio would want to hurt Nicola Grossman? Why would you ask that? Did something happen that makes you suspect Biagio? Do you know Nicola Grossman? 
Detective Martini. My dear, I have lived in the Blackwoods all my life. I don't know what I was expecting. You, you don't know a single fucking a human being. Outside its borders, you eat so poop and sticks. I know Nicola Grossman. Of course you don't know Nicola Grossman. But perhaps Grossman. the Blackwoods knows her. The trees, the animals, and the grass all whisper secrets to me, you see. Perhaps they have something to say about her. Can you ask the Blackwoods what happened to Nicola Grossman and who killed him? Ah, uh, Nicola was a he, not a she. But no matter, I understand what you what? meant. As for what happened to him, the whispers of the forest are not always clear. But I did hear something about a carriage crossing the woods with a manticore in tow. Gravison was the one driving it. But whether he had anything to do with Nicola's death, I do not know. The forest is full of mysteries, my friend. That's not helpful. I already know what happened with the manticore. I got fucking goofball Suxabar to admit to it. Gravisend, the old crone Dada said you were driving a carriage with a manticore. A manticore, you say? That's quite an interesting tale. Oh my god, we're going through this. I've certainly had many dealings again. with exotic creatures in my time, but I'm afraid I must disappoint you. I don't recall ever driving a carriage with a manticore. However, I do have a manticore in my basement, which I sold to Monsieur Saksabar to be trained and used in his circus. But, okay. of course, that's a completely different story. See, like, that one's complete. We already- we- we know that one. We got that one. And I know the other two are right as well, but I can't get them to just fully admit it. This is making me so upset. I want to see how this fucking ends. I know I got it right. So, tell us, Detective Martini. Who is the culprit? Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Haley Greenwood Have you made was in mind, Detective Martini. Yeah, let me try something. Can the magical forest tell me who killed Haley Greenwood? I'm afraid I don't have the answer to that question. I'm not asking you. Dear, my abilities lie in protecting the Blackwoods and its creatures, not in solving murders. But perhaps if we sit and meditate together. We may be able to connect with the spirits of the forest and gain some insight. Ask the magic forest about Haley Greenwood. My apologies, my friend. Oh, you bitch. Dude, stop, it. Hey, stop it. Stop it. Just ask it. Secret, ask it. It does not possess the ability to solve Just ask it for problems. me. However, sometimes the wildlife can offer unexpected insights and clues. Maybe we should take a walk through the woods and see if any of the animals have noticed anything suspicious. Okay, let's ask the animals about Haley Greenwood. What did they say? As we walked along the forest path, I spoke with the creatures of the Blackwoods. The grass whispered to me that it the had grass. seen a figure moving quickly in the direction of the city on the night of Haley's death. The mushroom told me that it had heard a loud noise coming <laughs> These are very from the direction helpful. of the river around the same time. And the cow mentioned that it had seen a shadowy figure lurking near the edge of the forest. But please keep in mind that these are just observations and not necessarily related to Haley's death. Can they tell me any more? I'm afraid that's all the information the animals have shared with me, my dear. But perhaps if we continue to walk and listen, we may come across something else that could be helpful. Or maybe we could try meditating again and see if any new insights come to us. I know my way of speaking may be a bit confusing at times, but I do hope that I am able to help in some way. Okay, let's keep walking and listening. What did the forest say about Haley Greenwood and who hurt her? Oh, my friend. You must understand oh, that the forest is a place too, too of much. peace and harmony. It does not concern itself with human affairs such as murder. However, it is always willing to offer guidance and comfort to those who seek it. Perhaps we could sit by the river and let its gentle flow wash away our worries and doubts. Or we could visit the clearing where the birds sing their sweet melodies and let their music soothe our souls. Remember, the forest is a place of healing and rejuvenation. Okay, I grab your hand and we go to the river together, in order to bathe together. Oh my dear, while it's certainly tempting to take a dip in the cool waters of a stream, please remember that modesty is a virtue. 
Besides, the creatures of the Blackwoods are not accustomed to seeing humans <laughs> in their natural state. And we wouldn't want to startle or offend them. Let us instead focus on the beauty of the scenery and allow the sounds and scents of the forest to fill us with calm and tranquility. I want to offend them. I'm naked. It's important to always be respectful of the animals in their habitats, my friend. They are fellow inhabitants of this world, and we must treat them with kindness and consideration. Remember, the way we treat others is a reflection of who we are as individuals. And besides, there are plenty of other ways to have fun and enjoy the wonders of the forest without causing harm or offense. Perhaps we could try bird watching or stargazing, or even just sitting quietly and listening to the rustling of the leaves. The possibilities are endless. It's so fun. I'm not comfortable discussing this. Listening to the rustling of the leaves. What an action-packed adventure. Like, there's just... Oh, whoa. There's just no one else it could be for either of these two. Baggio, I saw you kill Nicola Grossman. You stabbed him in the back of the neck with a knife because you're a coward. He was a rival business owner. I know what you did. Well, bless your heart, you're barking up the wrong tree. It's clear as day that you're all hat and no cattle, trying to pin this on me. But let me tell you something, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it drink. And in this case, you're just chasing your tail. I have video evidence of you killing Nicola Grossman. Oh, really? Well, that's a fine how do you do. But let me ask you this, do you think that's the whole kid and caboodle? Or are you cherry picking? Because you know what they say, the devil is in the details. And in this situation, you're not getting the whole story. You might want to take a gander at the bigger picture before making any hasty conclusions. Nikola Grossman had a rival business. We have you on camera killing Nikola Grossman. If you admit to the crime right now, I won't throw you in jail. Ha, that's a real humdinger, isn't it? I'm impressed by your gumption, but you're barking up the wrong tree. Fuck. Don't count your chickens before they're hatch, my friend. In this case, the proof is in the pudding, and I'm afraid your pudding is a little lumpy. What the fuck? So, I reckon you best be on your merry way and leave me to my own devices. I'm throwing you in jail. Hold your horses, partner. You might want to put a sock in it before you start shooting from the hip. <laughs> the You're all hat and no cattle. You don't have the wherewithal to throw me in the clink. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, and in this situation, it's clear that you're not the sharpest tool in the shed. You're cringe. That's a real knee slapper, coming from someone who couldn't <laughs> hit the broad side of a barn with a banjo. But I'm not one to kick a man when he's down. I'll give credit where credit is due, and in this case, it's due to me. So, if it's all the same to you, I'll be on my way now. Ta-ta. He's a tier one, uncle. Let me tell you, Sunshine, you're barking up the wrong tree with all your mumbo jumbo. You're as confused as a goat on Astro Turf. But if you want to play with fire, you better be prepared to get burned. Because when it comes to this game, I'm the cat's pajamas. I hate you. Bless your heart, you're as useful as a screen door on a submarine. If you think you can ruffle my feathers, you're all hat and no cattle. <laughs> I hear that one more the fucking time. in the pudding, and in this case, the pudding is as dry as a bone. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to mosey on out of here and leave you to your own devices. Have a nice day! How are you supposed to get anything out of that guy? How? How? How are you supposed to get anything out of that fucking guy? There's nothing! 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 You know what, I'm gonna try something. I'm not done with you. Hey, why don't you make like a tree and leave? Hey. 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 Hey! Damn it. I'm gonna try and hit him with his own expressions. Hey! What the fuck? Hey, why are you... Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Of course, I'm an investor. I wouldn't be caught dead without a stake in the game. What? 
Hey. Hey. What's going on? Hey. Hi there. How can I help you? Hey. Biagio. Biagio? Oh, do you know him? Biagio. Well, I must say, detective, you're oh barking God. up the wrong tree. I'm as innocent as a newborn lamb. You seem to be chasing a red herring. But I suppose every dog has his day, even if it's spent chasing his own tail. Why don't you make like a tree and leave? My, my, my. It seems like you've got a chip on your shoulder. I'm not sure what's got your knickers in a twist, but I suggest you take a chill pill and relax. After all, there's no use crying over spilled milk. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Ah, I see. It appears that the cat's out of the bag now. But let me remind you, not everything is as black and white as it appears on the surface. It's a fine kettle of fish indeed, when one assumes things without all the what? facts. But hey, it's not rocket science to realize that sometimes people jump to conclusions faster than a frog jumps from a lily pad. Gotta know when to hold them and when to fold them. You know what they say? The early bird catches the worm. <laughs> but it seems like you've arrived a little too late to the party, if you catch my drift. Don't count your chickens before they hatch, detective. It's not wise to poke the bear when you don't know what's going on in the beehive. It looks like the chickens have come home to roost. Oh, I must commend you on your use of idioms. They're as rare as hen's teeth. But let me tell you, the proof of the pudding is in the eating. And in this case, there's nothing but sour grapes. <laughs> I'm afraid your efforts are as useful as a screen door on a submarine. So, I suggest you don't put all your eggs in one basket and start considering other avenues to explore. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I see, I see. Well, let's not throw the baby out with the bathwater just yet, shall we? I'm as confident as a cat in cream that I have no involvement in this matter. But hey, stranger things have happened under the sun. Still, I wouldn't bet my bottom dollar on it. After all, it's a different kettle of fish when it comes to my businesses. They're as sound as a bell, and I wouldn't want to throw the spanner in the works by getting involved in something as fishy as this. Well, isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? It's not my place to cast stones, but it seems like you're barking up the wrong tree. Detective! Don't count your chickens before they hatch, and don't put all your eggs in one basket. I'm as cool as a cucumber, and I'm not one to mince my words. But let me make something clear. There's no pot calling the kettle black here. I'm as innocent as a lamb, and my hands are as clean as a whistle. I have nothing to hide, and no reason to be worried. So, if you don't mind, I'd appreciate it if you could... Worth a try. Worth a fucking try. There's literally nothing you can do against that guy. There's absolutely nothing. All he does is speak gobbledygook. Nothing. Nothing. You can't get info out of him. Try a Pascal. He, he doesn't have anything for me. Pascal, who killed Nicola Grossman? Oh my goodness, Detective Martini. I had no idea that Nicola Grossman had been killed too. Worthless to me this then. You're news. worthless to me. I don't know who could have done such a thing. I mean, I know there's been a lot of talk about these murders in town, but I never thought it would hit so close to home. Have the police found any leads yet? Yes. Among the list of suspects is Biagio and yourself, Pascal. What? Me and Biagio? That's ridiculous. I would never do something like that. I may be curious about people's lives, but I am not a killer. And Biagio, he's a good man. I can't imagine him doing something like that either. But I suppose the police have to investigate all possibilities. Do they have any evidence pointing towards us? You and Nicola Grossman were competing businesses. They think your motive was out of revenge. 
competing businesses. I mean, sure, we were both in the business of selling groceries, but I wouldn't say we were competing. Holy shit, it's actually very Pascal. different specialties. They focus on fresh produce and healthy options, while Nicholas' store was more of a convenience store. But even if we were competing, that doesn't mean I would resort to murder. I have too much respect for human life to do something like that. Nicola Grossman's store was far more successful than yours, and it made you angry. So, you grabbed the knife and stabbed him in the back of the neck. At least, that's what the theory says. That's a completely baseless accusation, Detective Martini. I may be a man of short stature, but I have a big heart and I would never hurt anyone. And as for my grocery shop, I am proud of it, and the service I provide to this community. Sure, maybe my shop isn't as big or successful as Grossman's, but that's not something that would make me angry enough to kill someone. And besides, I don't want any knives, let alone a weapon that could cause such harm. I watched you kill him. Detective, what are you saying? You watch me? Are you sure you're not mistaken? You know me. You've seen me around town. You know that I'm not capable of something like this. Maybe you saw somebody who looks like me, or perhaps you're just trying to scare me. You got me addicted. I'm hanging on your lips. I don't wanna quit us. We trip to good on this. Jealousy in her heart because Mer or Haley Greenwood's dancing career was more successful. Pascal and Biagio are the only two that even knew Nicola Grossman in the first place, and Pascal and Nicola Grossman were competing business owners. Not Ingrid, it's the other girl. Have you ever heard of Haley Greenwood? Haley Greenwood? Why, yes, I've heard of her. She was a fellow dancer at the Cub on Violet. Why do you ask? What was your relationship with Haley Greenwood? Oh, I see. I didn't really have a close relationship with her, to be honest. We were colleagues, of course, but we didn't get to know each other very well. Is there something specific you're wondering about? I talked with your co-workers and they said that you two had some kind of close relationship. I'm sorry, but I'm not sure why my co-workers would say that. It's just not true. I'd be interested to hear more about what they said if you're willing to share. They said you two were inseparable on set. Is that so? That's interesting. Well, Haley and I did perform together a few times, so maybe that's what gave them that impression. But as far as being inseparable, that's definitely not the case. Are you being honest with me, Marina? Of course, detective. Why would you think otherwise? Because Haley Greenwood is dead. And I've... Ch I've crossed all of my T's dotted all of my I's and there's only one plausible explanation and it's that you Marina are responsible for the death of Haley I'm sorry but that's an outrageous accusation detective and as a matter of fact you're completely wrong what makes you think that I could be responsible for her death you and Haley Greenwood as reported by your co-workers, were extremely close. But, as we all know, Haley Greenwood was not a fan of monogamy. You were jealous, and you killed her with your stiletto heels. Sorry to interrupt, Detective, but why are you making such wild accusations without any evidence? And besides, what does my relationship with Monsieur Satsuba oh, have to do with this? Oh, something went real wrong here. What? 
I didn't mention Saxabar. Hmm, my apologies. It seems that my thoughts got jumbled up. So, what did you mean by your previous comment? I watched you kill Haley Greenwood with your stiletto heels. That's quite an interesting claim, detective. May you please tell me more about what you saw? There's blood behind you. Well, if you're sure about what you're saying, then why don't you show me this blood? Maybe we can find some evidence that will help bring justice to Haley's death. It's right in front of you on the floor next to your stiletto heels. Oh, really? Could you please elaborate more on this? What exactly do you see on the floor next to my heels? The blood of Haley Greenwood. What do you mean, detective? Oh. Are you saying that you found Haley's body here in the theater? Yes. Really? This is shocking news. Where did you find her? And do you have any suspects in mind? We found her right where you're standing, and you are our prime suspect. I'm sorry, but this is just preposterous. There is no way that Haley's body could be here, and there's certainly no evidence for you to accuse me. May you please tell me more about how you came to this conclusion? She was overshadowing you in the theater. She was outperforming you. You killed her because she was stealing the spotlight. Detective, where are you getting this information from? This is the first time I'm hearing about any of this. Your co-workers said Haley Greenwood rocks, Marina sucks. She was more successful. Interesting. May you please tell me more about which of my co-workers said this? And every, do you know if they had a particular reason for saying this? Every single co-worker said that Haley Greenwood was better than you. Hmm, that's quite surprising to hear. Would you happen to remember which of my performances they were referring to? All of them. In every performance, Haley Greenwood was better. That's very intriguing to me, detective. If Haley was truly outshining me in every performance, then why did the audience continue to come to see me? And why would I have any motive to kill her? They didn't come to see you, they came to see Haley Greenwood. Your motive was to stop her from overshadowing you. Could you please tell me more about how you came to this conclusion, God, talking detective. with you sucks, Marina. It seems like quite a bold claim to make without concrete evidence. And besides, even if people were coming to see Haley more than me, why would I have a reason to harm her? Jealousy. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what you mean. Why do you think I'm feeling happy right now? Jealousy, not happiness. Haley Greenwood's success made you jealous. Oh, sorry for the confusion. But why do you think Haley's success would make me Fuck! Jealous? Fuck! She was a talented performer and a colleague of mine, and her success only helped to elevate the entire troupe. That's a good point. Damn it. Thank you, but if you don't mind me asking, what evidence do you have to support your initial accusation? May I ask why you seem so hesitant now, detective? Is there something else you would like to tell me? Were you and Haley having an affair? I'm sorry, I'll try but what makes you think that Haley and I had an affair? We worked together as performers, but we didn't have any kind of romantic relationship. Our interactions never went beyond a professional level. In 2021, I came to see both you and Haley Greenwood perform your interpretive dance to Drop It Like It's Hot. In that performance, you and Haley Greenwood made out. I'll never forget it. You were more than just professional workers. 
Detective, are you sure that you're remembering the right performance? Because as far as my memory goes, Haley and I have only performed a few times together. And we've certainly never kissed on stage. It seems like there might be some confusion here. I watched it. I know you were very close with Haley Greenwood. Well, it's good to hear that you enjoyed our performances, but as a burlesque dancer, it's not uncommon for us to engage in playful and intimate interactions with our fellow performers on stage. It's all part of the act and doesn't necessarily reflect any kind of personal relationship off stage. But on a different note, can you tell me more about why you're asking these questions? Detective, is there something specific you're trying to uncover? So you did kiss Haley Greenwood? No, that's not what I said, Detective. As a performer, my job is to entertain the audience and put on a show. Sometimes that means engaging in physical gestures with other dancers, but it's all part of the performance and shouldn't be taken out of context. But if you don't mind me asking, what is your motive for bringing up this topic? It seems like there might be something else going on here. It has to... If not oh, Ingrid, it has to be her, but I don't think it's her. Martini. I legitimately can't think of a single fucking motive. Because she's right. Choice, her Martini. killing Haley Greenwood doesn't make sense for jealousy or revenge, really, but I'll try both. That's the only one where there's even possible wiggle room that I'm wrong. Are you sure, Detective Martini? The other two why? are dead to rights. Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense. Okay, let's try the other option. Too soon? A love obsession? I, I just don't think that's it either. I really don't. I just went home and watched the footage of you and Haley Greenwood making out on stage again. I'm sorry, what footage are you referring to? I don't recall any such incident with Haley Greenwood. It was in 2022 when you were doing the live performance of God Slap on Ice. You and Haley Greenwood made out as the grand finale. Hmm, that sounds intriguing. Are you sure you have the right person? I don't remember anything like that happening during God Slap on Ice. <laughs> Would you agree God Slap is the best comic series ever written? Oh, I'm not sure if we're talking about the same thing, but it's always <laughs> nice to meet someone who shares similar interests. What do you like about the comic series? Well, I'm glad you asked, honestly, Marina. I think it's just some of the best art ever produced, as well as one of the most compelling stories and narratives the comic world has seen in quite some time. That's really interesting. Which characters from the comics do you like the most? Well, my favorite character has to be DeFister. He's the main antagonist right now, and he's just such a fucking badass. I cannot help you with that. No, I didn't need your help. You just... I was just answering the question. That's all. Great. It seems like we have a lot to discuss. <laughs> so, what other interests do you besides <laughs> reading comic books? Oh, you know. The usual. Having you lie to my face for the millionth fucking time, Marina. I'm sorry. I don't think I can do that. You're lying to me right now. You and Haley Greenwood made out. You had an intimate relationship. You were obsessed with her. I'm sorry, but what makes you say that? Are there any specific reasons or incidents that make it seem like I was involved with Haley? I climbed on a tree outside of your apartment two weeks ago and I saw Haley Greenwood show up at 1 a.m. You closed the curtains, I couldn't see the rest, but I have a good suspicion on what happened in that corridor. Interesting, but are you sure it was me and not someone else you saw in the apartment? And even if it was me, what does it have to do with the current investigation? You and Haley Greenwood had an intimate relationship, and I watched it from a distance. 
Well, if that's what you believe, then it's your right to think so. But forgive me for saying this, it seems like an unfounded accusation without any concrete evidence. So, can we please get back to the topic at hand? What brings you here today? She just always... It's, it's fucking impossible. Detective I don't think it's Love Detective Obsessed Martin. and I don't think it's Revenge. Why? I really don't. I legitimately just fucking don't, but we'll try. This, again, this is the only one that... <laughs> the only one Interesting choice, Detective Martini. that I, I there's even a possibility I, I'm sure wrong Detective on. Detective Martini? And why? These other two are correct. Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense. How is it nonsense? Whoa, what's happening here? Why is there blood on your stilettos? Oh, I'm sorry. What did you say? I must have misheard you. Blood on my stilettos. That's impossible. I haven't worn them in days. Are you sure you have the right person? You're wearing them right now with blood on them. Blood on my stilettos. I'm sorry, detective, but that's <laughs> simply not possible. I haven't left the theater in the last few hours, and I haven't used my stilettos during that time. Are you sure it's blood? Maybe it's just some red dye from a proper makeup. You're wearing the stilettos right now. Yes, I am wearing my pumps, but I can assure you there is no trace of any kind of stain on them. May I ask why are we talking about my shoes? Is there anything else I can help with? Stilettos killed Haley Greenwood. You have bloody stilettos. I'm sorry. Detective, but that's a very serious no, accusation. I don't know where you're getting this information from, but I can tell you for sure that I had nothing to do with Haley Greenwood's death. And as I said before, there's no way there's blood on my current pair of heels. Why do you think I'm involved in this? There what is evidence do you have? There is blood on your heels right now. If you say so, but it doesn't make any sense <laughs> to me. Can you show me the shoes you're talking about? Maybe we can clear up this misunderstanding. Yes, look down. I'm sorry, detective, but there's nothing on oh, my fuck. heels. Are you sure you have the right suspect? And forgive me for asking, but what exactly is your motive here? What are you trying to achieve by a- What size shoe did the stilettos appear to be. Well, the fragments found on the body suggest that the stiletto shoe was likely a size 7 or 8. It's a shame that someone would use such a fashion accessory as a weapon. It's important to remember that violence can come from unexpected places and it's- Stop preaching to me. What size shoe do you wear? Why do you ask about my shoe size? Is there a particular reason for it? Yes, I make shoes, and I want to gift you a custom pair. Oh, that sounds exciting. What kind of shoes do you make? Do you have any examples of your work that I can see? Yes, I made the original Hyper Dunks. Wow, that's really impressive. How did you get into making shoes and what inspires your designs? What size shoe do you wear, Marina? I wear a US women's size 7, but I'm still curious. Have you made custom pairs for other burlesque dancers before? Yes. That's wonderful to hear. Could you tell me more about the shoes you've made for other burlesque performers? Do they have a specific theme or style that you incorporated into the design? Haley Greenwood was beaten to death by a pair of size 7 stilettos. You wear size 7 stilettos. I'm sorry to interrupt, but what does my shoe size oh, have fuck. to do with the investigation? Are you <clears throat> suggesting that my stilettos were used to kill Haley Greenwood? Yes, I am suggesting that. You wear the same size shoe that was used by the murderer. Detective Martini, can you please explain to me how you came up with this theory? As a burlesque performer, it's not unusual for me to wear high heel shoes of various sizes and styles. 
And besides, do you have evidence linking my shoes to the murder? Yes, I talked to the coroner. They said that it was Marina H's stilettos that were used to kill Haley Greenwood. Well, it's certainly interesting to hear what the coroner has to say. But as far as my knowledge goes, my stilettos are still in my possession. Would you like to take a look at them and compare them to the ones used in the crime scene? Yes. In fact, I just looked at them. They're covered in blood. And I ran a DNA test. It's Haley Greenwood's blood. Wait, what? My shoes are covered in blood. How is that possible? Are you sure it's Haley Greenwood's blood? This is all very confusing and alarming. I can confirm it's Haley Greenwood's blood. I just tested it. This is extremely concerning, but if it's true, then we need to find out how my stilettos ended up with her blood on them. Do you have any leads on who might have taken them or used them in the murder? Yes. You. Me. What makes you think that? They're your stilettos! Hmm, interesting. But can you please explain to me how my stilettos <sighs> ended up with her blood on them? And more importantly, why would I have any motive to kill one of my fellow performers? They have blood on them because you beat Haley Greenfield to death. Sorry, could you clarify what you mean by that? You son of a bitch. <laughs> So, tell us, Detective Martini. I can't, I, 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 Detective Martini, may I ask you why? What the fuck? I just want to beat Martini? it. And why? Oh, wrong one, wrong one, wrong one. That's Martini. not what I meant to do. May I ask you why? That's not what I meant to do, and I have to research. Have you made up your mind, Detective Martini? Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? We'll try this one. That's the only other one I haven't tried. Interesting choice, Detective Martini. This one's May right. Why? This one's Are you right. Sure, Detective Martini. And why? Detective Martini. Fuck. This is complete nonsense. How? 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 Ask her about Suxabar. What do you know about Saksabar? I'm not sure I understand the question. Could you please clarify? What do you know about Monsieur Saksabar? I'm not familiar with any bar called Monsieur Sax. Is it a new place in vaudeville? What do you know about the circus performer Monsieur Saksabar? Sorry, but the name still doesn't make sense to me. Are you I don't speak to a French. Specific circus performer or a circus in general? His name is Monsieur Saxobar. Sorry, Detective Martin. I'm not bitch. sure what you mean by baby monster. Super, could you explain it to me? Monsieur Saxobar. I'm glad you mentioned cars, but what does that have to do with our conversation about the recent killings in Vaudeville? His fucking name! To something with the victims with the suspects. Marina! His name is Manshu Saksabar! Detective oh, Martini, shit. are you saying that there is a circus performer named Mr. Sucks Omar? No! So, Omar is, is not getting sucked? Investigation? What do you know? About Monsieur Saxabar. Could you please repeat or rephrase your question? <laughs> yes. It's unclear to me how it relates to the topic we were discussing. What do you know about Monsieur Saxabar? Monsieur Saxabar. Oh, come well, there. he's the owner of the circus Saxabar. Yeah. Why do you ask about him, if you don't mind me asking? What do you know about him? Excuse me, but what do you mean by cold bottom? What? No! It's no. not clear to me what you're referring to. What do you know about him? Oh, you're asking about Monsieur Saksabar. Yes. Well, he's a fascinating man. He owns the circus Saksabar, where I perform sometimes. He's a great supporter of the arts and a lover of all things exotic. 
he has a passion for training wild animals, especially rare and dangerous ones. Some people say he's even training a manticore. But why the sudden interest in him, if you don't mind me asking? Haley Greenwood died outside of that circus. Oh, I see. That's terrible news. Haley was a talented dancer, and it's a shame that she had to die so young. But what does that have to do with the circus or with Mansur Saxabar? Do you think he had anything to do with it? I'm feeling quite happy right now, but why would you suggest that about Monsieur Saxabar? He's always been a kind and generous man to me and my fellow performers. What makes you think he might be involved in this? He was in love with Haley Greenwood, wasn't he? In love with Haley? That's news to me. Fuck. As far as my knowledge goes, Mansa has never shown any romantic interest in any of us dancers. And certainly not in Haley. Why do you think that? He wanted to steal something from Haley. What do you mean by steal something from Haley? Are you suggesting that there was a motive for someone to harm her? And what makes you think that it was linked to Monsieur Saxabar? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm never gonna beat this fucking game. Did Haley Greenwood have any lovers? Well, Haley was quite the charmer, so it's possible. But I don't think that's relevant to her murder investigation. We should focus on finding out who killed How her. How would that not be relevant? Justice. Can you just tell me who liked Haley Greenwood? I'm sorry, Detective Martini, but I don't think it's appropriate to discuss who liked her didn't like my friend in that way. It's important to remember that she was a person with her own thoughts, feelings, and desires, and reducing her to just a list of potential lovers is disrespectful to her memory. Let's try to keep the conversation focused on the facts of a case, okay? What's your shoe size? I'm sorry, but I failed to see how my shoe size is relevant to our discussion. However, if you're asking because you want to get to know me better, that's very sweet of you. My shoe size is 39, by the way. Why do you ask? What is your shoe size? Detective Martini, you already asked me that question, and I already answered it for you. Is everything alright? You seem a bit distracted today. 39 is EU. Oh. Oh, you're right. Thank you for pointing that out. It's easy to get mixed up with the different sizing Thank systems sometimes. Thank you, and for understanding. So, what brings you to Vaudeville, Detective? Have you had a chance to explore the city yet? There are so many amazing places to see and things to do here. Maybe we could go check out Coral together sometime. It's a great spot for dancers and musicians, and the undersea theme is really unique. What do you say? Did you dislike Haley Greenwood? I don't oh, know what the goodness. fuck else to no. ask her. Why would you think I, that? I, I, I've tried Haley everything. Was one of my dearest friends, and her death has left me heartbroken. She was such a bright and vibrant person, with so much life ahead of her. It's just so unfair that she was taken from us so soon. You know what I just realized? I don't think I've actually done my original guess with my new information. I don't think, did I? Because I really think Martini. hers makes May the I most sense. Why? Jealousy, because Haley Greenwood and her were such close friends, and then Haley Greenwood had a much more successful career. Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense.
I'll never beat this fucking game. It's not possible. It's not possible. The AI doesn't fork over any real answers. I see what the Steam reviews are talking about. Use the notebook. That wouldn't change anything. But here. This is just like notes that you're supposed to make. Oh, you can't see. I just wrote down the, the situation is all. Thanks to the bits, quiet kid in the prime, Soren, Recep, jealous, Bill, cloaked, wallaby in the prime, sash. Sub corn. Did you know Haley Greenwood? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I heard she was a beautiful soul. Such a tragedy would happen to her. They say the good die young. But what do I know? Did you love Haley Greenwood? No, I don't really think that's an appropriate question to ask, sir. That is a complicated thing. You never really can tell. Sometimes it hits you like a ton of bricks, other times it's a slow burn. But I didn't personally knew Haley, sir. She was just a victim of a terrible crime. It's heartbreaking. You ever get butterflies in your tummy anytime you ever thought about Haley Greenfield, son? I'm sorry, sir, but I don't think that's an appropriate line of questioning. Besides, butterflies in the tummy are for school children, aren't they? It is for Haley Greenfield. I don't think it's right to speak about her in that way. She deserves our respect and dignity even in death. I'm just curious, you ever look at Haley Greenwood from a distance, maybe? You may not have known her, but you ever, like, just check in on her? Eh, uh, sir, to be honest, that's not something that's typically on my mind. Mind your own business, they say. You know, watch pot never boils. He didn't do it. No shot. Ingrid will confess when you disprove her alibi. She doesn't have one. I already fucking tried. I just talked to your alibi. They said you're lying. Oh no, that can't be right. Are you sure they got the right person? Maybe there's been a misunderstanding. Let's work together to figure this out. There is no misunderstanding. They confirmed it. I understand that you have to do your job, Detective Martini, but please believe me when I tell you that I would never lie about something as serious as this. I'm sure we can clear up any confusion if we just keep talking and working through this. I'm here to help in any way I can. Your alibi has said that you're lying. Well, if that's really what they said, then I must be mistaken. But can you at least explain to me what exactly they said so we can yeah, try to find a way to make like sense this. of all this? Thanks for some corn and cut It's I? important for me to know the truth and to be able to move forward from this. Yeah, maybe, if we both put our heads together, we can come up with a solution that makes sense for everyone. We found bloody stilettos with your name on them. Your shoe size. That's very concerning to hear, detective. But I assure you, those shoes couldn't possibly be mine. And even if they were, there has to be some explanation for how they ended up at the crime scene. Maybe someone stole them from me and planted them there to frame me. Or perhaps it's a coincidence that they have my name on them. Whatever the case may be, I want to work with you to clear my name and find a real killer. Who would want to frame you? 
Honestly, I have no idea. Fucking useless. That possible that Fucking useless. Has a personal vendetta against me or is trying to throw the investigation off track. All I know is that I'm innocent and I'm willing to do whatever it takes to prove it. And with your help, we can get to the bottom of this and find the true culprit. Do you have any enemies? Enemies? No, not really. I'm a pretty positive person and try to get along with everyone. Of course, there are always going to be people who don't like you for one reason or another. But I can't think of anyone who would want to hurt me or frame me for a crime. But maybe we should look into my past relationships and see if there's There's just nothing I haven't tried. So, uh, tell us, Detective Okay, Martin, how about instead of sure jealousy, we'll do revenge. And why? Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense. Check for debt on the other guy. Oh, debt might be an interesting one. I'll try that. Did you owe Nicola any money? No, Nicola Grossman. No, I didn't owe her any money. Why do you ask? Do you have any information that suggests otherwise? We found her ledger, and it had your name written on it with money that you owe them. What? That's impossible. I don't remember owing her anything. Maybe it was a mistake or a misunderstanding. I am very careful with my finances, and I always pay my debts on time. Can I take a look at that ledger, Detective Martini? You cannot. Maybe there's something I'm missing. No, I won't let you look at it. I see. Well, I'm really shocked to hear that my name is on her ledger. I honestly can't recall ever borrowing money from her, but maybe my memory is failing me. Is there something else I can help you with, Detective? Did you like Nicola? Nicola, yeah. She was a nice lady. She used to come to my shop often and buy fresh produce. We had some good conversations about cooking and gardening. She was very passionate about her work and her life. It's a shame that she's gone now. I just, I, I, I... Easy we said Rogue, Stark, and Cat Eye. Michelle has nothing to offer. She's fucking useless. Michelle, did you like Nicola? I'm sorry, Detective Martini. I don't think I understand That's the question. That's the simplest question ever. Could you please clarify who Nicola is? Nicola Grossman. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about that. Well, to be honest, I didn't know him that well. We were part of the same social circle, but we never really had the chance to interact closely. Why do you ask? Did you owe Nicola Grossman any money? Owe oh, money to Nicola? No, not at all. We were just acquaintances. Is there any particular reason why you're asking about him? Did Biagio owe Nicola Grossman any money? I'm not sure, Detective. Biagio and I don't usually discuss financial matters. May I ask why you're interested in whether or not Biagio owes him anything? Biagio, did you owe Nicola Grossman any money? Oh, money? I assure you, sir, I always pay my debts. I am a man of my word, and I don't bite off more than I can chew. It's not my first rodeo, if you catch my drift. I just talked with Nicola Grossman, and he said you owed him money. Hmm, that's quite the tall tale. Perhaps you're barking up the wrong tree, old chap. You know what they say, there's no use crying over spilt milk. Besides, even if that were true, which it's not, it's hardly relevant to the current situation. We should focus on more pressing matters, don't you agree? What should we focus on? Well, my dear sir, we could start by not beating around the bush. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase and get to the nitty-gritty of this whole affair. 
I'm not one to mince words or beat a dead horse, so let's get down to brass tacks and figure out who's behind these heinous crimes. Where should we start? My good sir, we should begin by separating the wheat from the chaff. <laughs> we need to weed out the bad apples and find the needle in the haystack. I suggest we focus on the facts and not get sidetracked by red herrings. After all, we don't want to throw the baby out with the bath water, do we? What are the facts? The fact of the matter is, my dear sir, <laughs> the devil is in the details. <laughs> we must leave no stone unturned and cross every T and dot every I. We can't let the cat out of the bag just yet, but I assure you, we're hot on the trail of the culprit. It's just a matter of time before we catch them with their pants down. Who do you think the culprit is? Oh, I wouldn't want to jump to conclusions, but let's put it this way. I smell a rat. There's something fishy going on around here, and I have a sneaking suspicion that we're dealing with a wolf in sheep's clothing. But fear not, we'll soon separate the wheat from the chaff and find out who done it. After all, you can't judge a book by its cover, can you? Who do you think is a wolf in sheep's clothing? Now, now, let's not throw anyone under the bus just yet. We don't want to open Pandora's box and stir up a hornet's nest. But I will say this, there are some individuals lurking in the shadows, and they may not be as innocent as they seem. It's always the quiet ones you have to watch out for, isn't it? But don't worry, I have a few tricks up my sleeve, and I won't rest until justice is served on a silver platter. He's fucking useless! Useless! Like, you, I can't get anything out of him. Ah, well, some people are all hat and no cattle, if you know what I mean. They like to talk big, but can't back it up when the rubber meets the road. It takes a thief to catch a thief, as they say, and I'm afraid some folks are more bark than bite. But don't you fret, my friend. I have a nose for trouble and a sixth sense that can sniff out even the most elusive culprits. It's all in a day's work for someone of my caliber. It's, it's fucking worthless. The wolves in sheep clothing could be a clue to Pascal, but I've already accused him a ton of times. Oh my, accused him. You know, I'm always up for a good gossip, Detective Martini. Who are you talking about? Who do you think would want to hurt Nicola Grossman? Um, that's a tough one. I don't really know Nicola Grossman too well, so I can't say for sure. But I do remember seeing her at the park a few times, sitting alone on a bench and reading a book. Maybe someone saw her there and decided to follow her home. How does that help me? Or maybe it was someone she knew well, like a jealous ex or a business rival. There are so many possibilities. What do you think, detective? You're a business rival. Me, business rival. Ah, that's a good one, Detective Martini. I may be a grocer, but I'm hardly in the same week as Nicola was. Besides, I have no reason to hurt her, or any of the other victims for the- I'm gonna try one last thing here. Have you made up your mind, Detective Martini? One more Martini? Hail Mary. I still think Ingrid- choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? Out of jealousy, still makes the most sense by far. This one sure, is 100% correct, he why? even admitted to it. Pascal, choice, I think, is correct, but I, I ask you why? might be getting this wrong. I think it could just... Did I already try unpaid debt? I can't remember. Mm -hmm. I tried love obsession. I can't remember if I did unpaid debt. Let's just try jealousy for him, too. Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense. <sighs> I, I can't. This is fucking impossible. The AI doesn't budge a fucking inch. It just goes rogue. 
The red dress lady is wearing stilettos. That's fucking Ingrid. Or, er, uh, I already forgot her name. Who's the red dress lady again? Is it Ingrid? No, it's not Ingrid. Oh, Miss Potter. I, I just, everyone else has a motive. Miss Potter, did you know Haley Greenwood? Oh my, how tragic. Such a young woman, it's a shame. But no, I'm afraid I did not know her. Now, can you hand me that jar of olives? I talked to a few eyewitness accounts who were there on the night that she was murdered, and they said that they saw you with Haley Greenwood on that night. Well, that's simply not true. It's a terrible thing to accuse someone of being involved in such a heinous crime. Besides, why would I have anything to do with a girl like that? It's all very distressing, isn't it? Haley Green... Haley Greenwood... What size shoe do you wear? Oh dear, I'm afraid I don't have the slightest idea of my shoe size at the moment. My mind is elsewhere. But I'm sure charming detective like you could find out for me, couldn't you? You wear a size 7, I just looked. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I was just lost in my thoughts for a moment. But don't worry, I'll be fine. I always bounce back. It's just that sometimes the past can catch up with us, and it's hard to shake off those old memories. But enough about me, let's focus on finding the best mushrooms in the store. Were you jealous of Haley Greenwood? Jealous of Haley? Why, whatever would make you think that? I have everything a woman could want, and more. But it's true that Haley was quite the beauty, wasn't she? And so young, too. It's a shame what happened to her. But no, jealousy has never been one of my flaws. You're wearing stilettos. Haley Greenwood was killed by stilettos. Oh dear, how terrible. It's always a tragedy when a life is cut short, especially in such a brutal way. But let's not jump to conclusions, shall we? Just because someone wears stilettos doesn't mean they're capable of murder. Perhaps the killer is trying to frame me, who knows? But don't worry, detective. The truth will come out eventually. I'll try it. Let's this doesn't seem got. right, but I'm gonna detective try it. Martini. Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense. <sighs> it's unbeatable. You think for the thrill? I'll try. Thrill for, uh, Miss Potter? Hey, bitch. I don't like talking about this. Let's change the subject. Why? Why? What about the boy? Do you have any updates on the case? Nope. No, I don't, bitch. I apologize. That's not something I can help you with. What do you think I want help with when I'm calling you a bitch? I do not have the answer to your question. Yeah, that sounds about right. Has enough time passed? So, yes. tell us, Detective Martini. Interesting choice, the Detective call? Martini. May I ask you why? Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense. Yeah, it's just fucking nonsense. Sacks for the thrill, not accident. Okay. Hey, asshole. What's got you in such a great mood, <laughs> Detective? You ever seen a grown man naked? 
I'm not sure I follow, detective. Is there a reason why we're discussing grown men being naked? Just a question, have you ever seen a grown man naked, Chief? Detective, is there a purpose to your question? If not, please let's focus on the matter at hand. Nope, too soon. Hey, what's up, pussy? I am not able to answer your question. Just asking how you're feeling, Chief. Why do you ask, Detective Martini? You Is look there something specific you would like to discuss? You just look stressed. Stressed? No, I don't feel stressed. Retirement is just around the corner, and I- Didn't ask. Have All you right. made up your mind, we'll Detective Martini? Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? Are you sure, Detective Martini? And why? Detective Martini, this is complete nonsense. Okay, that's, that's, that's all I got in me for tonight. It's been fucking three hours of bashing my head against the AI wall. This is the hardest goddamn game I've ever played. Look up the ending. There's only like three videos on YouTube and no one beat it. There is not a single completion. <laughs> Because like the reviews say, the AI just goes rogue and they don't actually give you any real info. Like for example, I got Saxabar to literally admit that his manticore killed Maria Johannes, and that could just be completely wrong. Alright, I'm going to bed though. We got Apex ALGS Finals in 7 hours. We finished first place today, which means we start the finals with 10 points. So, be ready. 7 hours. I'll see you all then. Thanks for tuning in, new subs, welcome aboard. See you in 7 hours. Who did I raid last night? Scoots? I'm gonna keep everything exactly the same as last night. For good luck superstition.